I'm Juan Gallegos. I'm the music director for the Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. We are one of three ensembles in the organization. We have a string ensemble, we have a flute choir, and we usually perform two concerts a, a year, a season, in the winter and the spring. And we rehearse Sunday evenings, 5 to 7.30. We usually do traditional classical repertoire. Our string ensemble does younger repertoire, and then our flute choir does flute ensembles, ranging from regular flute to alto flute to bass flute. And we have coaches that come along and help the students out. We usually accept students anywhere from elementary school to middle school, and the symphony orchestra does nine or eight through about 12 or 13th called freshmen, college freshmen. Um, and we have a good time doing traditional repertoire. Hi, my name is Emily Shaw and I'm an 11th grader and I'm currently the DYSO president which stands for Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. Our orchestra has been playing for five years now and we are separated into three groups, the Diamond Symphony, the Diamond Strings and the Flute Choir. So today we just had our day camp which allowed most of our members, since we don't get to like communicate with each other a lot because we're just practicing, we, this allowed us to bond together and meet each other. I'll start first, and we're gonna say our names, our school, grade, and what instrument, and what group. Bang! Wait, wait, wait. Alright, wait. Because you just you have to look at the person next to you. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Ella. These straws are for drinking. You're drinking. That's probably where you put them out, and that's probably where you put the straw in. That way you don't have to see it. This way. Oh, oh, she get another straw. Yes. We don't have another straw. No marshmallows. Marshmallows. Then this game. You are not allowed to talk at all. No talk. Okay, so then whatever word you get, we're going to act it out and we're going to pass it all the way to the front. All right, I'm Keshif. I'm the librarian and uh, my role is to um, copy all the music for the orchestra and hand everyone out their music. Play the bass. It's a really fun instrument to play because usually you're the only one playing it or you're playing with a small group. So it usually ties everyone in the section really close together. And I like playing in the orchestra because you get to work as a team to accomplish something really nice. And at the end, it, you always end up being satisfied with the amount of work you did because the outcome is really satisfying. Hi, my name is Angela Wu, and I am the rehearsal coordinator in the Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. And my job is to send weekly reminders to parents and students about each rehearsal. I've been in this orchestra for two years now, this is my third year, and I play the flute in the flute choir, and I really like this orchestra because it's fun and it gives me a chance to play along with other musicians. 
Hello, hi, my name is Jennifer Peck, the founder of Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra was formed as a non-profit organization to offer orchestra music performance opportunities for young musicians in Eastern San Gabriel Valley. We offer rich symphonic music experiences to young talented musicians and we offer uh, volunteer service um, opportunities as well. We have a great group of bright and dedicated young musicians who can achieve tremendous things musically through our well thought out programs. We are excited to serve our community and have great plans to enrich our lives. Since our birth in year 2013, we have five seasons with biannual concert, which we program carefully to give this taste of diverse classical music experiences to our students and we also have a soloist concerto competition and then who's, whoever the winner is can be featured in our spring concert in May. We often perform community benefit of concerts in hospitals and senior retirement homes to teach our musicians to share the joy of music with our community. We also provide high school grade musicians to be able to hold a leadership position we believe that Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra will benefit our students and their families and further our communities. If you want more information, please visit our website at www.diamondyouthsymphony.org that's shown on the bottom of the screen for more information of the auditions and upcoming events. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Sakura Tsai, and I'm the director of the Diamond Youth String Ensemble. Uh, the String Ensemble is roughly made up of students between the grades of th um, third grade and ninth grade. And um, they come from very diverse backgrounds. One of the goals I have for this ensemble um, is to really help the students be equipped with the skill set that they need to be able to comfortably participate in large ensemble contexts in the future. Um, as you can see, we're currently preparing for our very first concert that's happening this afternoon um, in this beautiful hall in Mount Sac. I'm really excited to share the fact that the students have been coming in with such an open mind, um, really ready to learn, and they're just absorbing information and really working hard to be able to present their very best um, for the audience today. Hi, I'm Carl Villar and I'm the concertmaster of Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. I'm concertmaster and that means I'm the first chair violin, so I usually lead the orchestra. I help tune in the beginning and also lead them at other points during rehearsal when the director asks me to. I started three years ago and I like it because there's a lot of volunteer events and it's really nice uh, performing for the community and yeah. My name is Tiffany Wu and I'm the vice president of OISO. So basically I help the president along with anything that she needs help with. Um, I'm a violinist and what I like about this, and I've been here for four years now, what I like about this organization is that aside from community service and all that, we'll, uh, I also have an opportunity to get to play in an orchestra because our, my school doesn't have that opportunity. Hi, 
I'm Rachel Mellis. I'm director of the Flute Ensemble here with Diamond Youth Symphony Orchestra. This is my first year as director and it's been a fantastic experience to work with such talented students. Uh, we were, we've been lucky enough to be, to have such a supportive program who they actually purchased an alto flute and a bass flute this year for the students to use, which is really unusual and a wonderful experience for these students to get experience playing on those larger flutes that they might not have anywhere else um, before. We have all high school students at the moment in the flute ensemble and the rank, they're all very, very talented students. Um, some of them take private lessons, some of them don't, but in ensemble we work on a lot of skills like tuning, ensemble playing, um, blend together as an ensemble. They need to have a, lot, a high level of technique, which we also work on in ensemble to make sure there's a lot of runs and fast parts of the music, so to make sure that they're you know, good to go on that. Flute ensemble can be any size. Ours is five students right now, and we'll have a sixth student that will be added in a couple weeks, which we're really excited about. Um, and we have four different flutes within the ensemble. So we have piccolo, which is the smallest and the highest instrument, and that is an instrument that really stands out as sort of the high melody amongst the rest of the flutes. And then we have C flute, which would be the standard flute you would most often see in an orchestra or in a band. And that's sort of the mid-range sound of the ensemble. And then we have the alto flute, which is a little bit lower than C flute. And it sort of mimics within an orchestra, maybe the low winds like an English horn or the French horns around that range of instrument. And then we have the bass flute in our flute choir as well, which would be sort of like the string bass or the lower instruments of an orchestra. And so it has a lot of the bass lines, not as much of the melody lines, although it can have the melody as well. So we're really happy to have all of those instruments and a really full ensemble. So even with just five flutists, it sounds like more because we have all of those different ranges in there.